his face? I can't, I can't see. I can see. I can see. Angle it down a little. There you go. Okay. You're the queen of the world. You should know. Others see your beauty and it shows. Can't believe the universe is so kind. Can't believe you're all mine. Hey guys, uh, welcome to what might be our labor vlog. This is not how I imagined a labor vlog to start because I honestly thought I'd be like dying in pain. But obviously, like I am in very early labor. If this is the real thing. But I've been having contractions for like six hours now. I realize it's already 4 p.m. It is, what's today? Wednesday, August 5th. Um, and it's 4 p.m. now and I've been having them since like 10 a.m. So for the past six hours, they've been pretty consistent. Every like five to 10 minutes, some of them are 12, 15 minutes. Very few, but for the most part, they're five to 10 minutes apart. They're just not painful. That's the only thing. They're literally like very tolerable. I was able to do my entire makeup. I went upstairs, got a little too glam probably to show up at the hospital like this. And I just started bouncing on the ball. I haven't been doing this the whole time because I was actually finishing up editing and finishing up work and stuff because like I said, even though they've been happening pretty consistently, they're just not painful. So obviously there's no need for us to head out to the hospital or anything. Weston's at work, that's another thing. Yeah, we shall see, hopefully. This is why I'm bouncing on the ball and stuff and I'm gonna go up and down the stairs because I'm hoping that the contractions just get stronger to the point where I can't talk and then that's when we'll head to the hospital. So hopefully by tonight, like I said, it's 4 p.m. right now. So I guess we'll just update you guys later. I'm hoping by like 9, 10 p.m. They're painful, <laughs> painful for me to want to go to the hospital and then have a little baby Weston girl. <laughs> Arlene is having contractions. She doesn't want to say hi to you guys. So I will say hi to you guys. <laughs> That's not true. That not true. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm super excited. She's talking contractions. I'm ready to go to the hospital. I'm just like, let's go. Let's yeah, do it. Keeps freaking... All he wants to do is head to the hospital. I think he only thinks labor is going to be real when we head to the hospital. Yeah. The goal is to make sure that she comes down. We don't want to have her stop. She's like making her way down she's, right now. She's kind she's of like digging. She's digging her head. Okay. Yeah, and then if we stop and if I stop moving, she's gonna stop digging her head. She's gonna float back up. So. Get comfy again and then be like, nah, I'll wait another few days. <laughs> so that's what we don't want. Okay. We're excited to meet you. We need you out now, so we're not gonna stop pushing you down. Yeah. Guys, Arlene is refusing to sit. She's gonna be now doing squats while we Ow. wait for her dinner. <laughs> okay, hold on. Contraction. No, she's got a See? contraction. See? That's how you gotta do it. It's not bad where I can't talk about it. Like, I can still talk to you. <laughs> yeah. Just a little annoying. Yeah. Like a shooting pain. Like it feels exactly like a menstrual cramp. Like a little more painful, but so it's like it starts and then you know it's gonna stop. Yeah. So now we can continue. So now you can continue to use the squats. And we're gonna have Mexican food. <laughs> that is our last meal. <gasps> I started my whole pregnancy craving Mexican food. I'm gonna end it eating Mexican food. No better way. And she's praying right now. So tell them what we've made up in our minds about the hospital. We're not going to the hospital, we're going to a resort. Yeah, we're going to a vacation resort. And we come back with the with some precious cargo. So in our minds we're going to like a tropical vacation. Vacation. All exclusive, all paid. All inclusive, not all inclusive. <laughs> um, well and it's exclusive. It's just that too. Okay, true. See, actually, our vacation has already started a little early, huh? Are we like in Cancun or something? We're on our Mexican vacation. A <laughs> woman is climbing. She's trying. She's determined. Oh. What happened? I was trying to film you and I fell. You got, that's on tape. That was crazy. Right after we ate? Oh man. Well, Weston's. You Weston, trying to kill both of us? Weston's dream of me pooping during labor might come true because that was a big meal we had. That's not my dream. I just think it's funny. No, you talk about it all the time. You love saying, 
I'm gonna see you poop. <laughs> yeah, cause GDP girls don't poop. Well, guess what? She about to poop. <laughs> Aww. To enjoy the walk with us. Our last walk without a little baby. Yeah. This is gonna be so crazy that she's in here right now, but she might be outside tomorrow. Yeah. All right, update. It is 1 a.m. What's the update? The update is she's still not here. <laughs> What's yeah. the other update? She's having contractions and they're getting a little stronger. They're definitely getting stronger. I'm in more pain and they're happening still every like five minutes. She's just going to have to do power nap, contraction, power nap, contraction. I'm very impatient because we've been waiting nine months for this little girl. And now it's like, you're teasing me. I just wanted to be here so that I can play with her, hold her, teach her all the cool things well, about... Well, you might be holding her in less than 24 hours. I know. So think and about it. I know, but if I think... You've already waited so long. What's another 24 hours? If I think about it... It makes me more and more impatient because I get more and more like antsy about it. All right, update. It's 3 a.m. 2.50. 2.50 and we're headed to the hospital for a few reasons. My contractions are definitely getting stronger and closer together. I could still like tolerate them, but they are getting a lot more painful. But I'm also having like, I don't, I don't know if I would say consistent, but I'm having more bleeding. So I called the nurse hotline and they suggested I go get checked out. So I didn't know like how much bleeding is normal and all that. And so then Weston started freaking out and is like, you need to go to the hospital now. Yeah, I'm and a little bit of a, a worry ward. Yeah, he is. Scale one to 10, what are you at? Earlier when we left on our walk, it was like a one, two, you know, like. Yeah. And now they're like three, four. Oh, okay. Three, four on a scale of well, if I I'm told you the scale. The scale was 1 to 10. No, no. <laughs> so, don't try to tell West, me. <laughs> on a scale of if I'm imagining that I'm going to go through the worst pain of my life. If this was an everyday scale and you were to ask me, oh, how bad, I would probably say like a 7. I'd be like, I don't want to leave the house. I don't want to leave the bed. Like, I'm in pain. Oh, okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But, but on, a, on a scale of pregnancy. On a scale of, of pregnancy and labor, which I mean, I don't know what a 10 is going to feel like, but if I could only imagine the worst pain of my life, then I'm going to say like still very tolerable, three or four. Do you, does that make sense? Yeah. So we made it to the hospital and surprise, Arlene water broke. Apparently I thought I was like, I was bleeding. Oh my God, I look horrid. Um, but my water had broken. So that leaking, it had some blood in it, but it was amniotic fluid. So because of that, I have to stay. Yeah, we're here. And because of that, oh, I'm only three You're centimeters. Three centimeters, yeah. Which, which is it, which is what we were hoping for. Yeah, it's, it's something, it's progress, but. Yeah, within a few hours, because you were one centimeter today. Yeah, but after your water breaks, the contractions apparently get super strong. Oh, so that's, that's why you're feeling it right now. Yeah. And that's why I started feeling it even in the car right here. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Well, there goes us getting sleep, right? I know. It's, it's already... The sun's gonna come it's up. It's already 4 a.m. No, I'm ex freaking I I know, I excited. I, I, I was kind of tired. Like, I was time. tired when we first got here a little bit. Yeah. Not when we first got here, before we left. I wanted to sleep, remember? Yeah. And then Weston was the one trying to convince me to come. And good thing, good thing, you can thank me later after this birth, but you know, good thing we did. Oh well, yeah, they said good thing because my water broke. This guy right here, I'm excited and I can't wait. And who knows how long the, the, this process is going to take. New update. 
The sun is now up. She's still in labor. still looking toward from floor up, huh? You're looking beautiful as ever. We've resorted to the ball. And behind the scenes, Arlene is posting a video that says, if you're reading this, she is in labor. If you're watching this. Or if you're watching this. Oh, these contractions are getting harder. Yeah. She's really feeling it now, guys. Yeah, pain level, we're at a good... We're at a seven. No, like a five, six. We're at a nine. <laughs> I'm not dying yet, but it hurts. It looks not fun. I, I do not. The reason it's like. Envy you. The reason it's like tolerable is because you know it's gonna be over. You know? So you just push through those 30 seconds, 45 seconds? Yeah, you just have to push through that. We asked if she's gonna come tonight, and she said, oh no. No, we asked if she's gonna come tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. She said, oh no. The reason we're doing this, we're, she's coming today, tonight. So, looks like baby girl's birthday is today. August 6th. August 6th. I'm gonna go uh, golfing while Arlene's in pregnant. Wow. Arlene, Arlene is in pregnant? Arlene is in labor, I'm gonna go golfing. Wow. I told her that, because there's a good golf course across the way. <laughs> while Arlene is in pregnant. While she's in labor. Right now, I'm gonna try to figure out and get some coffee, push through. I love you. Love you. <laughs> and the baby's head is very low. Okay. So I would say whenever you want it, you have uh, definitely done your duty. You burned it. It sounds like it. No. All right, up, update number 500 and 500. I yeah, I mean, she's got about 5'6". Yeah. Centimeter down. But, she, she's, but you're moving quickly. She said I'm moving very quickly. She could feel her head. She has a lot of hair. A lot of hair. She's already. They already look like they're prepping for the birth. Um, yeah, because they're, they're moving so quickly. They're prepping for the birth, but Weston's getting very excited, thinking she's coming in like the next thirty minutes. I still think it's going to be a few hours at least. Arlene is a champ. And still no epidural. She's refusing it for right now. Yeah, yeah, but oh, it's getting. Yeah, you can take the mask off. I know it's getting pretty up there. The pain, we're at like a solid seven, eight. Woo! I think it's, it's how people say it's such a mind thing. If anyone knows what that means. Yeah, the green one is <laughs> I mean, the green one is the The green ones are the contractions. So, every, what, two to three minutes? Two minutes? Maybe, Maybe even like less? like two minutes. Yeah. Um, oh, she said I'm totally thinned out. It's 100% a face now. And she said I have a very stretchy cervix. So it'll be easy it and fast. It should be a quicker delivery and yeah. I'm lucky, is what she said. I think she probably say that to a lot of people to make me I don't know, better. I know. She's making me feel better. I know, I but... I want you quick and out of pain as fast as possible. I'm feeling it. Oh, yeah. Oh. My, my baby's strong. Ooh. I don't know how you guys do this. Shout out to all the... Shout out to all the... I was going to say, do you like putting that mask on again? Yeah, it's warm. Okay. Oh man, I'm getting excited. I asked, I asked if I could throw glitter when the baby's born and she said sure. No, the mask, it's like, it's like keeps me warm and it like helps me know exactly where my breathing is at. It's really weird. Wow, well... I think I got used to it from the beginning. Oops. Not over my nose though. Whatever you need to do. Um, do you want the bathtub? Yeah, I'll take that. Epidural time. Alright, the epidural just kicked in. I'm whispering so I don't. Uh, 
familiar. I think she's feeling a little bit better now. I was whispering before in the mic because I didn't want to upset my, my beautiful wife. But the epidural finally kicked in. She feels a lot better. They gave me the epidural and She's then the talking. thing was, was they told me that it was going to kick in in like 15 minutes and it wasn't kicking in at all. And yeah. so they were like concerned. Like she thought she was literally going to have to redo the whole thing over again. And I was like, oh no. Which that I sucks. was fine. I was like, if it has to be redone, please. Because the pain was just getting stronger and stronger. Like it was not getting any better. And then I guess it just... She had given me more medication and it ended up taking almost an hour for it to kick in. Yeah. When you moved around a little bit when she was fixing your... No, she she moved it. I think she said it was too far deep in. Yeah. They pulled it out a little she bit. She pulled it out a little bit and I think that's what did it. So I'm feeling like a new woman. I was... I was starting like, oh uh, man. Yeah. You weren't even talking to me. I couldn't... I wasn't talking. They were getting so long too. Yeah. And I was like, I didn't... <laughs> The thing is, oh, to me. the thing is, I was like, <laughs> I didn't even know what to do. I was trying to help, and I couldn't. I didn't know. What to, I was like, kind of rubbing her. I'm like, you got this. <laughs> You're so strong. Like, I don't know, know what to do at that point when she's in so much pain. I feel so helpless. It was. It was definitely an eye-opening experience. <sighs> and I'm still looking like a hot mess. Yeah. And you're you're a freaking rock star. I couldn't. I definitely could not do what you're doing. <laughs> the thing is, I'm still not even that tired because I, th I think we still have so much adrenaline going. Even though we've been up for, we so haven't slept. It's 10 a.m. and we have not slept we haven't. at all. Wait, okay, so it's 10 a.m. right now. What time do you think she's coming? I'm thinking 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. is so my guess. seven hours. It's a pretty good guess. I know initially I had said 10 p.m. because I thought it was going to take forever. But she kept saying that I was making good progress. And then the fact that the epidural took that long... They also thought that I was you were just moving I was quickly. moving along yeah. quickly, and that's why it wasn't kicking in so quickly. You can go earlier than later, cause they're I mean they're making it sound like no. Okay, I'm gonna go 7:30 p.m. still though. 7:30 p.m. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll see who's right. Oh. I hate seeing you in pain. But I wasn't like screaming or anything. No, but you could tell you were very uncomfortable and in pain. As long as the epidural stays like this, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take some of that home. I'm good. Oh, it's a miracle. All right, get some rest, I love oh, you. Our resort, finally. Yeah, this is what the resorts say. Finally, the freaking Should I give them the, the resort? Service. Should I give them the room tour? The room service wasn't working out too well at first. Should I give them the room tour? Sure. All right, so we got our own room. You come through here. They're setting up stuff already. Trash cans. That's where I'd be chilling. And I and it has wheels, so I'm, I'm moving around like crazy. I'm, I'm getting in there, getting the mix. This is where mama stays. This is all the stuff. I'm too excited now. I'm glad it's working. I feel so much better. I was... Look at him. You're piecing back and forth. I know, because I, I was antsy. I could tell. I knew that you were quiet because I knew you were just like trying to stay out of it. Yeah, I didn't know what else to do. There wasn't anything you could do and there wasn't anything I wanted you to do. Yeah. The nurse was the one helping me. Like. She oh, was, our nurse is an angel. She. I told you, she's so she's sweet. Literally, so she's so good. She's just not to be like... <laughs> Yeah, and putting the pillows and like taking care of you. Is there you. anything else you need? Yeah. She's so nice. Hey, shout out to you nurses. Uh -huh. Shout out to you nurses. That's why we got you the gifts. This shout out goes to the nurses out there. Guys, I found this rolly chair. And now I'm just gonna get some cool shots of me rolling by her. You know, for some cinematic. Those are some cool shots. You ready? I, I haven't done them yet, all right? Here we go. Listen, you're gonna break something. Don't do that. Super cool. Dude, don't do that. Cool. I can get a full three, like 180 with pan shot. Look at this. Ooh. I'm so tired, but I can't sleep. She can't sleep, but she's feeling good. Yeah. We were at. You won the game. It said. It said you won. That was her drugs going off. Anyway, she's a trooper. She's singing in there, eight centimeters. Eight centimeters? I've been at eight for a while, but I haven't been checked in like two, three hours, so yeah. I don't know. But she's weighing on you to feel like a... Yeah, she told me whenever I feel like I have the poop to let her know, like if I have a lot of pressure down there and I don't have... But I also can't feel it. So for all we know, she's ready and we just don't know. And we don't even know. Okay, you can breath in. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, 